All right, all right, welcome to today's video. So today, what I'm going to be covering is how to actually use the military to succeed, right? This is something that nobody will tell you, right? Most people never really went through the thought process or the personal development to really understand this at a high level. Um, so the benefit of you watching this video right now is this, if you understand this, right, it's going to give you a huge advantage within your military career, right? Whether that's four years, 20 years, 30 years, however long you decide to do it, right? So one of the biggest things that you have to identify that you must identify is who do you want to be after your time in the military because it's going to come to an end right four years 10 20 30 whatever years right you might be thinking after 20 years i'm just going to retire and i'm going to be living off that paycheck that money is not enough right with inflation with what's going on it's not going to be enough it's not even enough right now right? i'm talking to a lot of retirees it's not even enough right now Right, so it's not going to be anywhere enough that you need when you decide to retire, right? So you need to understand, right? Who do you want to become after your time in the military, right? That's super important. And maybe you are not in the military right now and you're, you're trying to say like, you know, I don't know. That's fine, right? Just have something, an identity, somebody you want to become go with it and it can change along the way. Maybe you're in the military right now, you have an idea, make sure you solidify that idea and you can change it along the way, but make sure you develop what's called an anchor and I'll tell you exactly what I mean. So one of the biggest things that people go through in life is an identity, identity crisis. People go through an identity crisis, right? You see some, you see this sometimes with people who do 20 years in the military, you know, maybe at their half-life, they have a crisis in whatever the case may be. Basically, my take on identity crisis is over time, right, in the, in the military as a service member, as a service member, right, whether you're in the Navy, the Army, the Air Force, Space, Marines, etc right i know i didn't put coast guard i just didn't want to um you develop an identity as a service member right for either anywhere from four to 30 years depending on however long you decide to do it right you develop this solid identity right along with that you also have another identity right somebody as a family man right the way you act within your family is different from the way you act in the military the way you act with your personal friends, hometown friends, is different from, way, from the way you act in the military, the way you treat your hometown friends, um, is different from the way you treat your family to your friends, right? And, and friends, for example, maybe, you know, you go to bowling and you drink or, you know, you do whatever the case may be at a club or, or you know, whatever, you act differently amongst your friends than you do with your family. And the reverse is true, the way you act with your family, to your friends and then maybe even you know whatever your religious belief is religion uh, religious belief right in, in a religious setting the way you act is the way you act in a religious setting is different from the military from your friends to your family right and even vice versa right the way you act at home is a lot different though, than for example let's say church Right, the way you act at church and the list goes on and on right and you start to develop what you want to become let's say you want to be a a rapper right an artist or an artist right the way you act towards your dream is different than the way you act in the military is different than the way you act amongst your friends so you develop many 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 different identities and sometimes what happens is there's a lot of friction from switching back and forth, right? So for example, right now it's Thanksgiving week, right? I'm in the military, you know, when I go home, right? Sometimes you take the uniform off and you become the civilian person, right? And then the way I act within my family is different than the way I act in the military. And I see my friends, the way I act with my friends is different. And then it's Sunday, I go to church 
you know, I'm, I'm buttoned up with a suit and, you know, really looking nice and, you know, looking well behaved is different than how I act amongst my friends, different than how I act amongst them in the military compared to who I want to be in the future of this, you know, guy, right? So there's a lot of friction of switching back and forth and you create a lot of difficulty in your life, right? And you may already be doing this. You may already have a sense of this, right? The way you acted in the middle, in, in the elementary school to middle school to high school is different than you are acting now in college, amongst the families, friends, etc., right? And you start switching between identities back and forth, back and forth, and you start to get lost in the sauce and you start to lose who you are as a person. You lose your identity as a person, right? And that's how it leads to sometimes people after 20 years retiring and they're like, man, I don't know what to do, right? And they go through an identity crisis. They don't know what they want to do now, right? Or maybe after four years, five years, 10 years, they go through an identity crisis, right? What do I do, right? But here's the solution, right, that I'm proposing. Whatever it is that you want to be. So for example, let's say this is the anchor, anchor, right? Whether it is being a doctor or a realtor, you know, whatever your dream may be, entrepreneur, uh, an investor, YouTuber, whatever the case may be, here's the anchor. This is who you want to become after your time in the military. And like I said, it can change over time as long as it makes sense to you, as long as you have a strong conviction, as long as you gave enough thought, you've written it down, and you did a lot of personal development to realize that is your anchor, right? Whatever it is. Right. If that is your anchor, right? Imagine this. How does let's say, let's say you want to be a, a doctor or a realtor or maybe even a pastor in the future. Right? Let's say a pastor. How does a pastor act in the military? Right. How does a pastor act in the military? How does a pastor act in a family setting? Right. How does a pastor act amongst friends? How does a pastor act amongst, uh, what else, you know, in a religious setting, religious setting, right? Now you have this anchor, you have this one identity. You're not switching back from E5, LS2, Kim, to uh, Yoon Kim amongst friends amongst just Yoon with the YouTube personality. I'm not switching between different identities back and forth anymore. I just live one identity. I'm an entrepreneur now. I am a full-blooded entrepreneur. How does an entrepreneur act in the military? How does an entrepreneur act amongst their family, amongst their friends, amongst the religious settings, right? I have one identity. I have one anchor that I am going full North Star Everything else revolves around it. So going back to it, how do we actually use the military to succeed? The military is going to be a big part of your life, right? Four years to 30 years, everything in between. Within that time, you will go through many, many, many different challenges, emotional roller coasters that put you out of your comfort zones, right? Sadness, depressions, angers, anxieties, whatever the case may be, right? You have to harness those, right? Remember the lessons from yesterday. You have to harness that, right? And use that to fuel your identity, right? So for example, real practical one. Uh, in, the mil in the civilian world, right? People normally work 40 hours a week, right? Anything more, you, you deserve overtime, right? You did a whole lot. But in the military, 40 hours is like the bare minimum, right? When I'm out at sea, like I'm working literally 100 hours a week right so when you have to work 100 hours a week let's say you are a you want to be a rapper or a youtuber or you know realtor pastor whatever there are going to be moments where you have to right work 100 hours a week towards a mission a goal right you have to utilize let's say i'm an e5 my leadership skills of leading my e4 my junior sailors 
I have to utilize that tool, right? I have to take that tool to my setting after my time in the military to lead, right, my team towards a certain purpose, whether that's in a religious setting, investor setting, YouTuber setting, entrepreneurship setting, whatever the case may be. Uh, that is the difference between the two. I've been this. I've realized this. This is a very sad place to be. I've been lost for a very long time. The reason why I didn't make a YouTube video for a very long time is because I was living a just Yoon, Yoon Kim, LS2 Kim life going back and forth. There was so much friction. There was so much friction. But this makes sense. This makes life a lot easier. So figure out who do you want to become after your time in the military. While you're in the military, right? Act accordingly everything that you do. Everything that you do. How does a pastor clean the toilets? How does a pastor cook the food? How does a pastor, you know, do X, Y, and Z work, right? So what time is it? But anyway, I gotta, I gotta do a meeting with my team. Talk to you guys soon. Later.